So I bought this thingy this week. I don't know if you know what it is, but if not, don't worry, because if you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna be able to know what it is and how I use it. It's for creative portrait photography. So please subscribe to my channel if you wanna know more about this. Anyway, today I'm bringing you a tutorial. If you are struggling with portrait photography because you have to spend 10 hours to make the picture to look good, the skin to look good, the color grading to look good, and you just don't wanna go into the hassle of editing 10 hours a picture for it to look professional, stay till the end because I'm gonna show you an amazing software you need to own if you don't wanna pay subscription and you want to edit pictures super quick. The software I'm gonna talk about today, guys, is Luminar AI. It's not like Luminar 4, it's a completely different software. It's not like Luminar 5, let's say, or, or an upgrade. They're gonna release it on the 15th of December. So make sure you follow along this video because if you like it, you can grab it with the discount below. You can pre-order it or once they launch it, I'm almost sure I'm gonna be able to offer you a discount anyway. So follow along, you're gonna be able to learn if this software is for you. For me, this software is gold. I wish I had it before when I started in portrait photography because now I learn everything about Photoshop, Adobe, Luminar 4, and it's amazing. But if you just wanna edit quick, this software edit your pictures in one click, edit your skin in one click, and it's amazing. You're gonna be able to see how it works right now. So let's go to it. You open Luminar AI in your desktop. And this is very intuitive. The good thing about this software is done for beginners. So it's very intuitive, very easy to use, edit in a couple of clicks or even one, but still you have the edit part of it, the section where you can go into depth and you can get more into the professional side of it. But let's go by order. So the plus symbol, you would have here add folder with images or edit single image. I already did that to show you guys. So this is my catalog. It's a photo shoot I had last weekend in London, a corporate kind of photo shoot. For example, with this picture, this is a raw file. It's non-destructive as well, this software. This is the raw file. So let's go by parts, let's go to templates. So here is how this software works. If you go to the right side, you have a straight away by AI, it recognizes the kind of picture it is and it tells you for this photo. And it tells you, okay, for this photo, the essence pack is gonna be good, the black and white pack is gonna be good, or the easy portraits is gonna look good as well with this portrait. These are packs, not just one preset. So inside of it, you have more presets. High key portrait, sharp, fade, vignette, low key. These are tools, I would say, more than a template. But anyway, I'm not gonna get into depth, otherwise this would take hours. So straight away, it suggests the best presets for you. And then you have here landscape. So if this, for example, is a landscape photography, you would go into landscape templates because by AI it recognizes what is better for your landscape, for the tones of your landscape, and it's gonna do everything for you in one click, which this is awesome. Anyway, let's go down. You have wildlife photography, macro photography, nature. Let's go down, all categories. So for portrait photography, I would recommend you to use the pack essentials, portrait, cinematic, or influencer. So let's go, for example, to portrait. If you go to the portrait pack, you have another four packs. So you have the black and white, essence, easy portraits, experimental. Let's go to experimental because it's more creative. So let's go to experimental. And this is a raw file. I'm gonna apply burn film, for example. And with one click, you have the picture edited. <laughs> but this is not all. You can see here the opacity. So this is the maximum. Don't overdo things, please. Uh, I don't like to overdo filters or things like that because that looks very, very, very unprofessional. So even if you think it's cool, it's not. <laughs> so put it in 50%, 60, don't go too crazy. I'm gonna put it in more or less 50 and it looks way better than very heavy. So this is the before, the raw file, and this is the after. And it already looks amazing, but then I'm gonna be more creative. So I'm gonna be to the edit, section so this is the template you put already and then you can change whatever you want on it so let's go to edit and let's go you have all these tabs the essentials so you can change the cropping the lighting the color all the essentials of a edited software so you can get into the pro version of it easily as well so it's not just for beginners and then you have the creative tab the portrait i'll show you later it's freaking awesome then you have the professional version as well 
and the local masking. Pro is like more advanced tools you can use as well if you learn. But let's go to creative. Here you're gonna go crazy because it's insane. Anyway, let's go to mood. Here you can change the LUTs. LUTs, if you don't know what it is, is like color grading. So if you don't know how to color grade a picture yourself, you don't need to learn, you don't want to. So you have a very, a lot of them, a lot of looks. Look at this one. This one is very creamy, is very good. You have this one more bluish, this one more contrasty. You can try a lot of different effects. So let's put for this one, I know this one is very good with this picture, London. Okay, so you have here the amount, the contrast and the saturation. So by default it's 50. I like it in 50 or even less. As I said before, don't overdo it, but if you overdo it, you have more color grading in the picture. I would leave it in 50, like it is by default. Then the contrast, you can make the colors more contrasty or less contrasty. If you don't like to, you know, more faded effect. This one is cool actually, but I'm gonna leave it more or less there. And then the saturation as well of the color. I have it in minus 25, it looks good, I'm not gonna touch it. And I just did that, I apply a template, I change the LUT, and you see the before and the after. This is the before and the after. And this is so good for models, influencers, photographers, who they just want to get rid of work and do it like nice, professionally and super quick. Me, I'm very picky, so I personally prefer Luminar 4 because I use it as a plugin. Luminar AI doesn't work as a plugin, it's a standalone software. But Luminar 4 works as a standalone software, which means you own it and you don't have to own Adobe if you don't want to, or as a plugin, like I use it. I love Adobe. My workflow, if you know me already, is Lightroom. Then I launch Luminar 4 and then I carry on in Photoshop. It's a very low process because I'm very picky with my work and I don't know, we all have our kind of habits. So I do it that way and that's why I prefer Luminar 4. But Luminar AI, I don't have any complaint about it to be honest. I've been trying it and it, it's awesome. So anyway, um, this is one picture for example. I already saw you before and the after. Let's try another picture for example. Let's go back. By the way, you can reset if you don't like something you apply. You can reset here in these three dots reset adjustments it comes back to how it was before let's go to the catalog i'm gonna choose now wait till the end because i'm gonna <laughs> save the best for the end i'm gonna choose this portrait for example okay so the first thing i'm gonna do because um, it makes my head in is fix rotate a bit fix the horizon so you would go to edit you would go to essentials and in composition it's very easy. You go here and you just have to, you have the guides. That's it. Now it's straight. That's the first thing I do in every portrait. Always the horizon. Then I carry on. Okay, so now we have the raw file. We can go to templates again. Um, let's choose, let's, I don't know. There is so many guys. I don't even know which one to choose to show you. Let's choose the cinematic letterbox. So you have this one, it adds some bars, it's super cool because this is very cinematic. But what I wanted to show you with this is, for example, if you like uh, a color grade of this section, let me show you, this one I love, I love blue tones on my pictures. So this is the before already, in one click and the after. And you are able to do creative stuff in one click, it's amazing. But then you are, okay, Laura, I don't like those bars. Like, I like the color grade, but I don't like the bars. You can change everything you have in the template. That's the great thing about it. So let's go to the edit section. And I know the bars is in this section, local masking. So if you go there, you see you have a texture. So this is the texture. You press the cross and that's it. It's gone. So before and an after. It's, it's insane. And if you want to give more light, you can still do it. Change the tones, you can still do it. You have full control of the template. This is the amazing part. But if you are a beginner, stick to the template and in one click, you edit your picture. So I'm gonna show you a super cool effect. I'm gonna reset everything. There you go. I'm gonna go to mm -mm, the LUTs, for example, creative. I mean, you can do whatever. You can explore with this all you want. 
let's go to this one I like it's very brown color effect I'm gonna apply more this one is super cool very cinematic as well it's like a sepia tone 70% okay less contrasty so it's a bit more faded like film looking saturation I like it like it is but it's a bit too bright so let's go to the lighting section and you go with lower exposure there you go this is super cinematic I love it maybe 40 minus 40 and then the highlights is a bit too heavy here so let's go a bit down and this is the before and this is the after and how easy was that <laughs> it was super easy this is super cool and then this is so nice so with luminar if you own luminar 4 you know already you can change the sky so you can put different like clouds and stuff here it doesn't make sense because you don't say the sky basically you can put fog in the pictures you can put the sun this for portrait photography is super good normally in lightroom i do it in a different way but this one it has its own tool so let's go to the creative tab and let's go to sun rays and you can put the sun there there you go so don't put it anywhere you always have to fake uh, in a way that is natural so if i know the sun was in this part don't put it in the other part because if the shadows there falling in a particular area of the person if you put the sun somewhere else it's not real so don't be a beginner of this and do it properly always imitate natural light when you apply this effect so i know the sun was here so all you have to do is uh, put here uh, place sun center press here and you can grab the sun now and put it wherever the hell you want so put it here there you go because the light was there in the picture but then you can change the mood of this as well you can change the amount put it like that which i don't like i don't like to overdo things as i told you before do it less i'm gonna leave it here in 35 overall look is the strength so it's in 50 by default but you can put more so it's more faded by the light which is quite natural to be honest or less more moody which is quite cool as well i like it moody i'm gonna leave it there and then you have the sunrise length you can see the length of the sunrise so you see more shorter i'm gonna leave it there so it covers the face as well it's more natural and this is the penetration into the image so how heavy is gonna be the effect over him or is gonna go through him so i think a bit faded because the natural light when it falls in your face it makes you faded with the lens so when you are focusing someone or a model and there is a flare the person is more faded so that looks natural so i'm gonna leave it in 45 and this is the before and this is the after and as you see it changed the whole lighting of the picture because luminar ai works with artificial intelligence as i said before and the name says and it knows if the sun is in that place how it would look the picture it's not like you put the sun there and then the picture the lighting doesn't change that wouldn't look natural so luminar ai knows if the sun would be here where the light in real life would fall so it imitates so this is the before and this is the after and as you see it changes the whole look of the picture so this is the before i'm gonna show you with this tool which i love before the raw file and the after it's incredible i i love this software so that's why it's good even if you own adobe to own this kind of softwares because they're very inexpensive and you can get creative or you can do things on top of the pictures even if they are edited already for example i'm gonna take an edited picture already i'm gonna go to the catalog this one i edited with lightroom i i love lightroom this one so now i'm gonna go for example to i don't know to edit i'm gonna go to the dramatic section in the creative area and you can add drama in your pictures look how incredible is that it kind of modifies the lighting to make the subject and the scene more dramatic and you don't even have to mask or do it yourself the program does it so this is the before and this is the after and then you can change the amount as i said or i'm gonna change the lat let's choose another lat for this 
San Diego. Because this one is more bluish, if you like. Brown, faded. Poof, it's, I don't know, you can play a lot with different lads here, guys. That depends on your style. That's why it's so good if you follow a theme in Instagram. Because this is going to allow you to keep the harmony in your feet. So, I don't know, this is gold, guys. I really like it. I'm gonna leave this one, Sina. It's kind of analog effect. This is the before and the after. It paints the highlights with green yellowish color. So that's it. This was edited already in Lightroom. Then I can launch this software. And this is the before and this is the after. So you don't have to do everything in one software. Like if you can afford it, I own Adobe, I pay monthly Adobe, and then I own Luminar 4 and Luminar AI. Uh, I don't use the three of them, obviously, and sometimes I use just Lightroom, or sometimes I use Lightroom and Photoshop. Normally I use Lightroom, Luminar 4, and Photoshop. You can do whatever you want, because you know your software, so you know what you miss in one software. So if you like something from one software, and another thing that another software doesn't have, you can complement all of them or just use one, so it's up to you. But just to show you, just owning Luminar AI, you can do everything you want, no subscription, super affordable, guys, super easy for beginners, and you can get into the Pro Tools as well. So now, the very end, I'm gonna show you the portrait features of this program. It's amazing for skin photography, for the body, for features. This is a lifesaver for me because I, I don't like normally retouch skin and I'm a portrait photographer. So I do spend a lot of time cloning, like with the clone stamp in Photoshop, removing the imperfections. But this, if you are lazy one day and it's a picture that is not for a client and it's just for yourself, one click, it's done. I'm going to show you. Let's go to the catalog again and I'm going to show you like a normal headshot, a corporate headshot. Let's go to this one. There you go, this is a normal portrait, but you're gonna be able to see what this software does. Okay, so go to edit, go to the portrait section, which is this one, and this is gold. Okay, so I'm gonna go a bit less, zoom in, so you can see a better overall look. Face light, so you don't have to mask anything. Luminar AI detects where the face is and if you give light to the picture straight away give light to the face you don't have to select in one click it knows where the face is so i already apply light okay a slim face i don't like to change features i always say it but if you want to make it a bit more flattering change slightly bit like the client wouldn't even tell but it looks better already so a slim face do i'm gonna do a lot so you see how it detects the face this is the before and the after. It's crazy. <laughs> you don't have to mask. You don't have to do it manually. Anyway, I'm going to do it a bit only, like 20. No more than 20, never. And more for men. It's not natural. Eyes. Okay. Iris. This is new. Iris or Iris? I don't know. <laughs> English is not my first language. Sorry. Anyway, you can see the color of the eyes, like this is insane. It detects the iris so well, you don't have to mask, you don't have to color anything, it does it. So there you go, you have blue eyes, brown. I mean, I don't, I don't use this. I don't like to change the color of my eyes or my clients, but there's people who like to play with this. So just so you know, it's here. Green eyes, I don't know, it's crazy. Cat eyes, which is super creepy. If you want to do something more creative or, I don't know, something weird. Anyway, original. But just so you know how damn well it works. Iris visibility is um, the light of the eyes. Then iris flare, it would change the shiny part of it. So I'll show you. You see? It's more like a sparkling eyes, let's say. So you can change that as well to enhance the picture. Enlarge eyes. This happens a lot. For example, I have a very... Um, narrow eyes like a cat i don't change them because i don't change my features and i don't like to change clients features but yes many clients they do request can you make this bigger can you make this skinnier you can do everything with luminar so you can enlarge the eyes i'm gonna do it a lot so you can see look <laughs> it's so creepy but it's crazy how it detects where the eyes are 
I'm gonna leave it in zero, but just so you know how it works. I whiten it, I use it a lot because sometimes you have like yellow eyes or very red, so this would fix it. There you go, you see? I'm gonna do it less, I'm not gonna do it. Eye enhancer, this is, I use it a lot as well. It kind of sharpens the eye and brightens the eye. I'm gonna leave it in 20. Red eye removal is when you use flash. Dark circles removal is very useful, is to remove like uh, the dark part underneath the eyes. So I'll show you, you have like a natural uh, shadow here. He looks good, the skin looks good. I don't need to do much on him, but it's just to show you for the tutorial. So uh, dark circle removal, you see? Unless it remove the shadow underneath, which is more flattering, obviously. I'm gonna leave it, leave always a bit of shadow because it's natural. Don't make things unnatural because people can see. Improve eyebrows, okay, make them sharper. I never do that, but just so you know, it's there. Mouth, you have the lip saturation. I'm not gonna go into this because otherwise it's too long. Lip redness, lips darkening, teeth whitening. I'm gonna do it a lot, you see? It detects everything for the portrait. It's amazing. And this I use a lot because I do a lot of uh, female photo shoots or self-portraits as well, if you follow my channel. The skin is a pain in the ass to retouch when the skin is not good. My skin is not amazing. I have a lot of marks because of the sun and things like that. So skin, um, I'm gonna do it a lot so you see how it retouches the skin. I'm gonna put a hundred. There you go, before and after. It's amazing, but again, it's a man. Don't overdo things when it's a woman, but when it's a man, even less, because men has a more rough skin naturally. So ah, I saw so many portraits of people putting like an iron skin. It's not, it's not natural. You don't have pores in the skin. You are not a robot. Like, please don't overdo this. It looks very girly. It looks very ugly. So plus the skin is good already, his skin. So I would do maybe 20, no more than 20. And then manually, you can reach it with the clone stamp with Illuminar, you have it as well. You can remove imperfections. So just to show you how it works. Then shine removal, I use it a lot because so many times I work with flash and with hard light and um, it's good to have highlights in the skin, it's natural, but sometimes it's too much. So shine removal will remove this. Here doesn't do much because there is not uh, a hardcore shiny part of it. So this was the portrait tool, but then you have body as well. So you go to body, there you go, and you select a picture because when it's half body, it may not work properly. But when you go, I don't know, to this one, for example, you see more his body, you will see, like, <laughs> it's incredible. How you move the slider, you can make someone skinnier right away. And I don't need to overdo things, I say it many times in this tutorial, but I keep saying it. But you wanna make the model to look more flattering or the client more flattering because he's not a model and, you know, but everyone likes to look good in the pictures they're not gonna notice you change a bit. If you overdo, they're gonna tell you, what the hell did you do to me? I'm not that skinny. So do a bit, they're gonna look more flattering and it's still their body, it's not that different. So this is the before and this is the after. It's just a tiny bit. You didn't change much and it looks amazing. So just so you know, the body section is here as well. So basically with Luminar AI, you can do whatever you want. If you are a beginner photographer, portrait photographer or any photographer, because you can use it for landscape as well, macro photography, product photography, you can edit whatever you want with this software in a couple of clicks or even one only. And if you wanna learn or you are learning further photography, you can get into the pro tools. So this is for beginner photographers and for pro photographers as well. And it's no subscription. As I told you, I do have Adobe and then I have this. Because I love to have a few softwares so I can choose from, but if not, you can own this one and that's it. They're gonna release it on the 15th of December, but you can pre-order it in the link below with a massive discount, which is very good. If you want more tutorials about this software or any other, Photoshop, Lightroom, Luminar 4, please let me know in the comments below because I would be very happy to help. And that's it, guys. I will see you very soon. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.